to recognize the difference between social engineers and the socially engineered. All right, let's go ahead and let's do this. travel like this for my safety. I have one, two, three, four, five, and you right there. Carry this patch again and make it nine. Honest cops might not be employed today, but they are out there. Matter of fact, can't wait to get started on this uh, HonestCops.com, talking about a whistleblower website for Honest Cops. What do you know about that, Ted Wheeler? Police Commissioner? I think so. So in the, port, in the city of Portland, if you want to make the city better, if you want to hold police accountability, uh, accountable, you will be a target. Especially if you're a person of color and a male. I just want to remind you the city, the state has never wanted people of color. However, it seems to have made an exemption for our women of color. The white men seem to like that diverse vagina. Oh, we got to get wanded. Got to get wanded. We got G4S here. You guys know anything about G4S? What do you guys know about G4S? You guys feel safe? Or is it just like cannon fodder? They just throw a bunch of numbers at, at the problem. And... Please share this First Amendment audit of the, of the uh, City Hall. We're going to find out if the gaslighting continues here. I want you guys to research Terry Bean. Find out that he was just recently indicted. There is a day of Oregon that was uh, granted about this guy. He's a pedophile. The first day I started having a security uh, escort was the day that I confronted Terry Bean here in the city hall. I want you guys to do the best you guys can do uh, to research that. Don't forget that. 100% USA FTP. They don't know anything about this. They don't hire people to know anything about this. Please share this. We are recording here as well. We're going to record this too because if you're a black man in the city of Portland, they, an apologetic black male activist, you will be targeted. Um, the city, the state has never wanted black men. Wanted, never wanted black men. Uh, they have made a compliment as against for our black women and women of color, but that's because white men have liked to conquer everything in this world. I don't want to stick to this narrative, but if, it's, if people want to present this... Again, I don't want to tell you this narrative. It, it's fact, okay? I want you guys to go to the Oregon State Constitution and look at it. It's, does not want people of color here. Does not want black men here. It still does not want black men here. I'm here for the you are in the council. And if they and if you are here as a black man, your job is PR, public relations, all right? Let's go ahead and uh cell phone. Yeah. So thank you. Please share this everybody.
So the man in the suit is a domestic terrorist. I want you to know that. I really hate the idea that the JTTF was here to target people in the city of Portland. I was just listening to a, a podcast the other day from a man named Alex Ansari, who knows he's from the city of Portland, who knows it very well. He was talking about a time when Randy Leonard was concerned that the FBI was targeting them, city council members. Well, I want to say it's, it's, it's a very good chance they are because the city council members in this city are taking pedophile money. And I imagine that the G4S security guards are actually overseeing pedophile parties. 100% USA FTP, you guys. Don't forget that. Don't be deterred. So as you can see, let's just go ahead and conduct a First Amendment audit. You guys know what? The haves in this city have white skin, so stop complaining. It's a fact. I would not say that if it was not true, and I want you all to go to Wikipedia and look at Oregon. I want you guys to look at the, the racist nature of the state. They love raping black women. They love killing black men, they, they love imprisoning black men, they're like killing black babies, hashtag uh, Margaret Singer. Please share that again as well. Because when I come to the first, when I come uh, to City Hall, I get an escort. That's how special I am. We're approaching the mayor's office. I am being stopped. And I've been being stalked ever since. Uh, I want you guys to go here. And see if they have anything to say about Cop Watch. Constituent Specialist, Trayvon. Sierra one to Maine. See, they run from. This is um, this is a depressing state of the black male in the city of Portland. I'm going to leave because he's afraid. Because he's afraid that I might take his his uh, food. I might take his money. I'm not sure. But they're calling Sierra one. That was, and he's from Jamaica. Everybody. So let's give him a break because he might not. And I fully understand the uh, the First Amendment or the um, the challenges of we as African-American men in this city had to, and, and it take, you know, the, the compromises that we've had to allow our women to have to, to go through in order to survive, in order to be able to take care of their children. That, I hate to say it, but that was just about one of the most un-American things I have ever seen. Please share this. And you guys, we're here all summer long. We're here for 20, 20, 24. Telling you what, like Ted Wheeler said, follow him in the bathroom. He wants you to. I'll get you the video. I'll get you the clip. Because it's important that we hold our leaders accountable. Yeah, no, he's not trying to hide it against the wall. He's just trying to make it through until he can get his pension so he can take care of his family. See, Ovi's an interesting person. You guys can find out more about Ovi at Mike Blue Hair. This person from the Independent Police Review going to talk to the commissioner. Anything to say? No. You guys can find out more about him by looking up. Uh, that video might not be public, but it's something about how Portland Police Bureau protects its outlaws. Amazing. This guy thinks that he can go ahead and fix a, a date, a stamp date with a post-it note. So, OV back here, you can find out more of him, about him and Mike Smith and what he's about. And like I said, he's just doing his job right now so that he can get his pension so that he can take care of his family. Um, it's really unfortunate that this is the way that he does it. Yeah, you don't even have to brace it. So, 
Should we should we go inside and see what's going on? Wheeler, can you have this guy stop following me? He's been harassing me, stalking me. Your security guards have asked if they can film me. kids at their school. That's inappropriate. I'm sorry, you're going to have to sit down and be quiet. Can you please get these guys to stop following me? Is it okay if I film your kids at their school, Ted Wheeler? No, I don't think so. I wouldn't even go there. you got to get to know me, buddy. I'm getting out of here. Angry tax, whatever the fuck your name is. Like I said, I don't, I'm not going to sit and fucking take this. The city of Portland is trying to kill me, and I'm not going to sit and take it. I know, white man! Stop raping my fucking women! Stop killing my children! No, I will not go to work for you because I work for the Lord! Don't forget, God is good. And the state of Oregon has never wanted you or me they only want our women. They only want chambers and city hall. They only want our women. And they only want our children so that they can test on them. Eugenics programs, I'm telling you guys what. Martin Luther King was arrested over 30 times and killed. I'm standing up for myself. This shit is not over. All year. 2019, 2020, 2021. It's going to keep building. We have these things my brothers and my sisters are talking about. The power us, to give us this energy that we're connected to. Soul power. I will not sit and be gaslighted. I will not. It's not what I'm here for. And I will be I will be filing notice of a... Sir, do you understand? Yes or no? Don't take that as a yes. OV, get the fuck away from me! Get the fuck away from me! You fucking pig! I apologize. But sometimes you have to use your voice in order to communicate. 30% of all communication is tone. 10% is the words. That's why they never listen to you. Because you're not doing it right. You're not communicating to them appropriately. A lot of times you will, you might try to Humble yourself. You might try to make the other person feel comfortable. I want you to know these are not people. And if they are, they have forgotten how to be so that they can take care of someone or something. They are afraid. And that is how they control you. I have two criminal charges facing right now. I'm an activist. I understand the risks of doing this. 
I'm not going to stand to get arrested today because I don't want to have three open cases. But I wanted to come here to show you what you can do. I wanted to show you how you can be an example for your community. It is the fact. It is the reality. As long as I make you comfortable, not only will you let me in your home, but you'll give me access to write a script even for you. I've written campaign literature. The third video that I ever uploaded to my YouTube channel, not public, was as an experienced organizer in a room with Chloe Udaly, who she was seeking help to get elected. The narrative that the city of Portland has spread against me is all lies. And it's because I decided that I did not want to work for them, I wanted to work for you. Bottom line. Son of Hightower, you guys, is a way to get your guys' attention, and I'm so happy it has, to the city of Portland that I was born and raised in. That has never, ever cared about you. They've only cared about maintaining their power. So when people come out and rally, people come out and get really loud, you might see some change. That's only because they're afraid. And that gets us back to the human psychology and human conditioning. Why we do things, why Ovi is inside right now denying your civil rights, actively conspiring to deny your civil rights. It's because he's afraid. He's absolutely afraid that if he does not do what he knows, then he's not going to be able to take care of his family. And that's the, that's the leader's fault. That's a failureship of the leadership. It is 2019. There's no reason the promise of civilization has not been realized except for the fact that it's been suppressed by obsolete industries. Today they want to keep you dumbed down. Jerry Springer on TV for over 27 years. And we're supposed to believe that a black councilwoman is going to change all that. The military industrial complex is running the show, folks. G4S, International Security Force, is being used by our local politicians to deny you rights, to gaslight, to harass you, to follow you around, to ask whether or not they can film you at your school. Robert West, that was fucking stupid as shit for saying that. But hey, bro, we all make mistakes and I love you. Because you've been able to own up to it. Unlike these people here, they haven't been able to own up to it yet. So if you guys want to protest, I'm down here today. We're down here conducting a First Amendment audit for the people. As you can see, you have the right to film, but they have the right to gaslight you. They have the right to follow you around. And under the current situation, they are under the impression that they have the right to deny your civil rights. And the reason being is because 70% of Americans are one paycheck away from losing their jobs. So how many people can not only afford to live in the city of Portland, but how many people can hire lawyers in the city of Portland? How many people can even trust the legal system here in the city of Portland? I'm not going to sit and take it. I'm not going to sit and take it. If I'm being gaslighted, if I'm being attacked, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to say something. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to say something. I was attacked by men over on the other side of that road, on the back side of City Hall. 
and City U and Chloe U Daly had the nerve to say that I was violent because I defended myself against violent individuals. I want to remind you who Chloe Daly is. Ted Wheeler, City of Portland. Chloe U Daly. I'm not even going to go there because I want to see it. It's time for a renewal. I hate it. I'm not advocating it. Chloe U Daly is. These politicians have no idea what they're fucking with. It's a tender cake. I know a lot of these activists. Matter of fact, they've worked under me. I want to remind everybody that the first time I ever worked on a political campaign was 1997. I have been as far east as Bangor, Maine, as far south as McAllen, Texas. I am an African-American man born and raised in the city of Portland. I identify as biracial. But I will tell you one, I will tell you what. They literally have... They've been fucking with people's minds for so long. And, I, and they haven't figured, I'm not gonna stop. We're not gonna stop until they create a more perfect us. Because they fucked up. They fucked up. Anything to say about police accountability? They fucked up. That's so sad. Because this is a beautiful city. It's just sad that the powers that, have, that be internationally, globally, have picked Portland to be the city that tears itself apart. I want to remind you that these candidates are not organic candidates. These are all artificial candidates. Every single one of these candidates have been picked and chosen by someone else. Not a single one of them, except possibly Amanda Fritz. I've been doing this for a really long time, you guys. And that's the thing that that's the thing they miscalculated. That's how they miscalculated. They thought that I was just gonna be another political operative going along to get my paycheck. They were incredibly wrong. Got you on a cell, I've got you on a mono stick now. We're gonna go see if we can't get up into some of these windows. Well, we walk our way around. 